producing perfume from the home. Some people find it hard to find the right perfume. This may smell good when this is sprayed into the air but this changes when this reacts with the skin. Those who are tired of this problem can stop looking and instead make one. The first step is to get all the materials together. A lot of people focus on the oils and the other liquids and forgetting the basics such as the test tubes, glass beakers and measuring cups. People should avoid using materials made of metal or plastic because these may alter the scent. Glass stir rods should also be used because this will allow the oils to mix better instead of just shaking it. Since the mixture has to be stored for two days before transferring it into a bottle, the lids should be tight to prevent the liquids from evaporating into the air. When everything is ready, it is time to mix the oils together. Many of these are extracted from plants and some last longer than others thus creating base, middle and top notes. Examples of base notes are cinnamon, fern, moss and sandalwood. Lang Lang, lemongrass and neroli are middle notes while bergamot, lemon, orange and orchid are examples of top notes. There are also oils extract from animals but those who detest this can rely on synthetic oils instead. Since some essential oils do not blend well with others, a bridge note is needed to blend it together. The last thing to add before this is stored for a couple of days as a little ethyl alcohol. This may not always be available so many recommend the use of vodka instead. After two days of storage, the last thing to do will be to mix this with distilled water. This should be filtered so any solid elements are removed and the liquid can be transferred to the plastic bottle. It does not take a rocket scientist to come up with a fragrance. This takes practice which is just like excelling in a sport. The only reason why some companies make it so complex is because others mix different notes all together to come up with the desired result. Those who are just doing this for fun can make homemade perfume using rose petals. But those who plan to turn this into a business should be prepared to turn the kitchen or an empty room in the house into a mini laboratory. The person does not have to do everything through trial and error because there are books and other sources to get this information. Some even mention the recipe for a certain concoction which will serve as a guide for anyone who wants to get started. Some of the concoctions produced will not do that good as hoped. Instead of throwing it out, there are other things that the entrepreneur can do with it. The mixture can be used as an air freshener, for aromatherapy, to make scented paper and more. After all, the ingredients that are used to make these other products are the same as perfumes and it can still be put to good use. Making a perfume is personal. So, the person has to figure out what scents work for the individual and others out there so there is direction when for making these concoctions.